This game has officially begun. Webb's going to start his return. And he runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. He is the man who runs the Ravens' attack. Number five, quarterback Joe Flacco. No more questions anymore, Jim, about Joe Flacco. He is a Super Bowl MVP winning quarterback. This guy, we say it so many times, we're going to say it one more time. He has got one of the best arms in the NFL. The Cardinals' defense now is going to go nickel. The Ravens from the 27. Muscles through the defender on his way. The 30, the 20, the 10, taking it all the way home for the touchdown. Blocking up front, lets the running back get in the secondary, and he is so quick and elusive, he avoids the tackles and takes it all the way for the touchdown. Inside of the uprights. They'll take it at the 20. The Cardinals offense is led by quarterback Carson Palmer, who was having his career year in 2014 when suddenly it was curtailed by knee injury. Carson Palmer now with the Arizona Cardinals. Look, Bruce Arians loves to throw the football down the field. And what's the greatest streak Carson Palmer has? Throw the football down the field. Let's go, let's go. Right, 18. Palmer's got it in the gun. Brown's got it on a pass. Had some heat on it. Good job by the quarterback completing that pass against the zone defense. Look for the open space when you throw against zones. That's what he did, and he got the nice completion. He'll stand back beyond the center in the gun. Fitzgerald's got it. First down. No three and out to start this one. An early first down to move the chains. Good job by the offensive players executing the play call, and they pick up a big first down. First down at the 40. Williams is all over the ball carrier. He is one of the most versatile players in the league, Andre Ellington. Well, you're right. He is versatile, but I'll also say this. He's really fast, so that's a good attribute to have when you're talking about running backs in the NFL. Halfway through this first quarter now. Doomerville's all over that offense and brings him down. Third long situations. A lot of coordinators in this league would run a draw play on third long. Why? Because they're just looking for field position, pick up a few yards, and then by some miracle, if the running back's able to make guys miss, break some tackles, and pick up a first down, Man, that's just great. Ladarius Webb with an interception. Nice play that time by Ladarius Webb. He read the quarterback, read the receiver, and comes up with the interception. The Ravens coming back onto the field on offense. They took it down the field for a touchdown the last time they had it. Listen, momentum is on their side. When you have that going for you, keep the defense guessing at what you're going to do. So I think it's very important to stay aggressive in this situation. You know, when you throw the football like that down the field, you pick up a first down, now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you've got that defense guessing. Flacco's lined up, two tight end set. Almost intercepted that time. For the offensive unit, a wide receiver who starred for so many years at Carolina, here is Steve Smith. He is just so tough and willing to fight for the football. When you talk about Steve Smith, he's going to bring an attitude to the offensive side. A foot race to the end zone. The 30, the 20, the 10. All the way home and all alone. Touchdown. Anytime you see a long run for a touchdown, 
What you got to look for is blocking downfield. Nice job by the uh, wide receivers and everybody hustling, making a block and a long touchdown run. The Cardinals are ready to return the kickoff. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. The Cardinals offense back on the field trying to make up for that costly mistake. The last time they had the ball, the turnover they committed immediately turned into points against them. Yeah, it did, Jim, but you know what? It's not a perfect game. You got to deal with adversity when you're talking about football. And they get the sack. That's a bad job by the offense that time. There's no doubt about it. The blitz by the defense, they do not do a good job of finding out where everybody's blitzing from. They let a guy come free, and that free blitzer, or as we call them, free runners, he gets the hit on the QB and takes him down. Third down now. Carson Palmer takes a look down from under center. Going to be a penalty here. Encroachment of defense. Still third down. Third down after the penalty. The Cardinals get set at the line, needing to get to the 30 for a first. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. They're set to punt it away now. Going to try his luck here. And they bring it down at the 36-yard line. And a run back of about 14. Well, the rushing attack has been working to full effect for this offense today, and we're probably going to see another dose of the ground game right here. And why stop when it's working? Just keep running the football. You've got the defense on its heels. They don't know what to do. You're overpowering them, and it's just fun to watch. Peterson that time on the tackle. As we've seen today, this is a team that's dedicated to the run. And it's paid off with some very good stats on the ground. Well, it shows you what the coach thinks. He believes in running the football. And when you believe in it, what happens to your football team? They become tough. And they have shown that toughness here today. That's why they have such a good ground game goal. I don't know what the answer is when it comes to guarding these tight ends now. There's just not much you can do. Uh, I'll tell you the best way to stop the tight end Rush the quarterback. Flacco's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Marlon Brown with the catch. The Ravens did a good job there on first down. That pass picks up some good solid yards. Now second and short. Much easier to call those kind of plays. Second and short. The quarterback with the give to the fullback. down here after the run the Ravens bring in an extra tight end for this play he'll throw it over the middle finds Pitta Pitta is going to pick up the first down as he's tackled every quarterback in the NFL loves this coverage where you got four defensive backs all playing deep so in routes, anything across the middle, usually it's wide open. Good job of the quarterback taking advantage of the defense that time. Touchdown, Baltimore Ravens. And that's three touchdowns for him today. My goodness, Phil. Halftime can't get here soon enough as it's blowout city. It is. I know you can't wait for halftime because you scarfed down food at halftime like you haven't eaten in a week. So we don't want to keep you from that. But this game, oh my gosh, it's been lopsided, hadn't it? And you're right, the team that's losing, they can't wait to get to the locker room. Nelson's going to test the coverage here. And they're all over him at the 18-yard line. 
The Cardinals weren't able to get anything out of their last drive and were forced to punt as they take the field here. Do you think they are going to vary their approach, Phil? Well, I hope so. I think they will. They, they got a lot of information out there in that short drive. And intercepted. Heading into the half of the defense continues to dominate the opposition. Oh, they are playing smothering defense. That's what they're doing. They're just, every play that we see the offense run, the defense is right there making the tackle, getting turnovers. Hey, man, this has been fun to watch. When you get aggressive safeties, you like to get up there and try to stop the run. The post route is an awesome way to take advantage of that. Go down the field, 10 to 12 yards, plant that outside foot, run towards the goal post, makes the catch in the end zone. Touchdown. Nearing the half, and this one is a laugher. Oh, well, yeah, one team's pretty happy about it, but how about on the losing end of it? How would you feel like uh, to be being blown out here right before halftime? It's a terrible feeling, and I don't know if you can regroup in the second half. Nelson's got it. And he's tackled right at the 30-yard line after that return. The Cardinals offense back on the field trying to make up for that costly mistake. The last time they had the ball, the turnover they committed immediately turned into points against them. Yeah, it did, Jim, but you know what? It's not a perfect game. You got to deal with adversity when you're talking about football. So you made that mistake. Let it go and go out there, be aggressive, and see if you can score some points. The Cardinals are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. Palmer's going to take it from the gun. Brown's got it on a pass that had some heat. Going to take it the distance. Touchdown! And they're able to close the gap a little bit just before we reach halftime. Man, that's always awesome, isn't it? We see it so often when a team scores right before half. A lot of times they can take that momentum into the locker room and carry it into the third quarter. Palmer is going to watch his defense come out here in a moment. He was good for over 70 passing yards on that last touchdown drive. taken down right at about the 29 not quite to the 30 the Ravens offense taking the field again they got everything they could out of that last possession Phil that was a solid touchdown drive yeah, just look at them Jim the way they run on the field you can see they're exuding confidence when you got a confident football team man he's in the clear the 20 the 10 and in for the touchdown see a lot of them anymore because we have so many good tackling safeties in the NFL but not this time that long run goes for a touchdown it was about the moves and the blocks down the field terrific job by the offense the Cardinals have let this one get away from them today need to try and turn things around in a hurry the scores 35 to 7 the tackles made right around the 25-yard line. The Cardinals offense preparing to get this drive underway. The last possession ended in a touchdown. Phil, let's see if they can do it again. Very well done. Loved what I saw out there on the let's offense go, let's the go, last go. time. They mixed it up and they showed a lot of confidence. You can see the speed of the football team and try to duplicate.